glass chandelier made of pop bottles, a beer tap built from the neck of a guitar, and ever so airy garden decor is nothing out of the norm for Robin Romalo. So this is the original piano. It was the first piano in Ladysmith, and it was shipped here from Toronto for $208. That's cost of piano and shipping. Robin opened the Music Hall Food Company in July of 2015. I would describe the decor as turn of the century San Franciscan, West Coast. But this is far more than just an eclectic space. It's a living preservation of hundreds of pieces from Ladysmith's history. We've recycled a lot of Ladysmith history back into the interior of the building. What we're looking at right here is the original transit and compass that laid the streets of Ladysmith, collected artifacts for the last 16 years, knowing that 16 years ago we were going to open this restaurant. Ladysmith's very first electric coffee grinder, door casings from the old Abbotsford Hotel, and a train station bench from the 1900s are just some of the treasures within these walls. They came in six and 12 feet long, and we're really lucky to have this one here. Historical society's dying to get this. I've got tables from the Traveler's Hotel, tables from the Islander. I've got the old Yellow Point Lodge chairs from the 60s pillars from various homes. Our bar is 27 different pieces of Ladysmith architecture long gone. It's historically bound to the community because of the artifacts that I've reinterpreted into the decor. Some people refer to it as the second museum in Ladysmith. I've moved roughly about 600 tons of stone onto the property and the principle in the garden has been a recycle reuse principle. So I've used everything from broken concrete sewer rings, drain pipes, there's two ponds, an outdoor fireplace, I've got 51 seats of stone furniture. But all of this collecting is nothing new for Robin, since he spent 27 years working as a set decorator. I specialized in period pieces and I've worked on shows like uh, Wind at My Back and Love of the Land, uh, Goosebumps, which traditionally used a lot of antique furniture. And so this was kind of a natural progression for me. But Robin has worked hard for all of his unique artifacts, standing outside of buildings as they were being torn down, just for the possibility of finding his next gem. I love the treasure hunt, and you just never know when you tear a building apart what you're going to find in it, so that's kind of exciting to me. Behind me here is one of the original drawers from the Chronicle newspaper. The Music Hall Food Company embraces not only Ladysmith of the past, it's also becoming a focal point for music lovers of the present, hosting open mics, as well as shows with local and touring performers. This is becoming a hub for community, musical community. Um, I've been to open mic nights, ukulele nights, for Ladysmith to have a place where local performers can come, people who are normally maybe in their living room, but they get to come down on an open mic night, you know, it's, it's a good thing. I miss you. And although Robin is very locally focused, he lived all over the world before settling down in Ladysmith 17 years ago. I've lived in Los Angeles, in San Diego, in Lisbon. I've lived in London, England. I've lived in Toronto. Um, and I've traveled all over the world. And I wound up in a place like Ladysmith. It's great. I've never looked back. And Ladysmith seems just as happy to have Robin, his pieces, and his music hall food company. I think every community needs something like this and I'm, I'm thrilled that we've got something here and that Robin has had the, the vision to create it. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Fiona Shedden.